Ready or not, here I come. Eh, what's up, Doc? Boy, have we got a problem. That crazy Tasmanian devil got loose into Looney Tunes' film vault. He's gone and torn up a bunch of classic tunes. Shredded them. I'm really in a jam now, Doc. My boss is a hopping mad. You gotta help me. I've managed to get the actors all lined up, but you gotta conduct the music to finish them. Now, don't worry. I'll show you what you gotta do so you don't look like a total maroon. <laughs> All right, Doc. To start off a tune, you'll need to get the orchestra's attention. Tap three times on your podium to get the show going. Great! That sure got things started. Now, to lead the orchestra, you gotta move your baton, eh, uh, your stylus, Doc, in time to the music. You tap and drag your baton on the bottom screen, you know, following the notes as they're displayed. Here's a note. See, it's number one, Doc, the first note of a pattern. When you see this, you gotta touch the note with your baton at just the right time. When is the right time, you ask? Look for the shrinking cycle. When the cycle shrinks down to the border of the note, that's when you need to tap it, and we'll be okay. Now let's make with the tapping. Watch carefully as I demonstrate the correct technique first. Okay, now you try it. Tap when the shrinking cycle lines up with the note. Now here's a wrinkle, Doc. There's actually two ways you can hit the note with the number one in it. Sure, you can tap on it, but you can also drag your baton from somewhere else on the screen and touch the note at the right time. Okay, so that's the basics. But I gotta tell you that a note by itself is pretty rare. Now looky here. Most of the time, several notes link together in a sequence like this. You gotta drag your baton from note to note, touching them in sequence and at the correct time. Just remember, you can't lift your baton off the screen during a sequence or you will automatically miss the next note. You maroon. Observe carefully as I demonstrate thusly. Okay, now you try. Drag your baton from note to note, follow the sequence, and make sure you stay in time without lifting your baton. Now, after you have finished the sequence, you can lift your baton if you want, or you can just drag it directly to the start of the next sequence. You know, it's up to you. Just keep time with the music, will you? And that's all there is to it. Good luck, Doc. You'll need it. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Sometimes the tune needs a bit more precision. When that happens, you'll see the tap bar appear at the bottom of your podium, see? Now when this happens, notes begin to fall. All you need to do is tap each note when it lines up exactly with the tap bar. Stand back and watch a master at work. See? Easy peasy. Even old Daffy could do that. Now it's your turn, Doc. Just tap the notes with your baton when they line up with the tap bar. Congratulations, you got it. Looks like you're all set. Now get out there and help fix this mess. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunted in wabbits. Thank <laughs> you.
rabbit twerks. Kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. What did you expect from an opera? A happy ending? Fluffer and fuckatash!
boy's more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind. Personally, I think this guy's a phony. <laughs> 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 I'm going to blow up the Earth.
Obviously, I am dealing with inferior mentalities. Meep, meep. Is more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind. Meep, meep.
外头铺地毯。哇！Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mud. Meet me. Obviously, I am dealing with inferior mentalities.
Loves a lover, but in this case we'll make an exception. Fluffer and fuck a tash.
boy's more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind. Introduce myself. My name is Mon.
guy a stinker? Fluffer and fuckatash! Imbecile. What an ultramaroon! Meep, meep.
allow me to introduce myself? My name is Mud. Meet me. Catch on any minute now. Meet me. with that pretty tennis up.
Personally, I think this guy's a phony. Meep, meep. See you in Miami. <laughs> what an imbecile. What an ultramaroon. <laughs>
Ain't I a stinker? Personally, I think this guy's a phony. That's all, folks. What a revolting development this is. Yeah, ugly, huh? Sounds like somebody I know. That boy's as strong as an ox. And just about as smart. What a knucklehead. This would be embarrassing if it weren't true. Now that's, I say, that's no way for a kid to be wasting his time reading that long-haired gobbledygook. Smart kid, got a mind like a steel trap, full of mice. Fearless Freep, that's my boy! Why are you hanging around with these guys? They'll never amount to anything. Nice boy, but he's got more nerve than a bum tooth. My, aren't we gruesome? Well, what do you know? A piece of spaghetti with eyes. Whoa, you mangy fang-tooth critter! I just wonder if he's as dumb as he looks. That schnook over there is an overstuffed, fat, flabby slob of a chicken. Oh boy, this kid's gotta go. My stars, where did you ever get that awful hairdo? I'll just have it out with the boss. Read faster or I'll blast your head off! Little pretty cat. Canine, do you suppose all Earth creatures behave like that away? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mud. This clock's off her onion. That dog, I say that dog is lower than a snake full of buckshot. You are a mental case. <laughs> what an imbecile! What an ultramaroon! Oh, you treacherous twixter! This boy's more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind! Ain't you ashamed? Oh, you long-eared, fur-burned, flat-footed varmint! You frighten me! You make me with a hot quiver! That dame's taking everything but the kitchen sink! Is there any insanity in, 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 is your family nuts? 